so I just went to the room and printed out some orders. Um, if you guys haven't watched any of my old um, videos, the way that I keep my orders organized is I have a bunch of these little clipboards. And we have them set up in different areas of the room. And usually what we'll do is over there is we'll keep the orders that have not been made yet. Which are is this clipboard over here. And so I'll put them with any other ones that haven't been made. And then all of the orders that need to be made will be over here. Um, and then... And then I will put all labels also on a clipboard and all the labels will usually be um, in the packing area. And then we also have a clipboard for orders that have been complete. All the orders that we have so far have been completed so the clipboard is empty. Uh, but tonight we're going to work on orders and what my mom and I do once we complete an order, we'll circle it and put a check mark um, right on top of it. And usually the complete orders will also go in a shipping space. Um, so yeah, we are under production of all of the scrunchies. Um, I announced it in my last video, but my website is launching on March 20th um, at 1 p.m. Make sure you can go on the website now and sign up so that it lets you know through email when the website is up. Um, but it's going to be up at March 20th at 1 p.m. if you guys are interested in our scrunchies so far these are all the ones that we have we're gonna have um we're gonna have like sets and then we're also gonna have like ones that are singular you guys saw my mom do a live on this one today which is so cute she still has to close it up but it's super cute it has like these little gold circles which is so adorable wouldn't this be the cutest set ever but yeah guys so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work on some orders and then my mom will probably like do the scrungies while i do that um i'm having this like paint party with a bunch of my girlfriends this saturday um and I, we got like these cute little aprons and we're thanks um we got these cute little aprons and i'm gonna embroider all of our names on there um, so I also have to do that. I probably won't do that today, um, but maybe I'll do it on a live. I think that'd be cute. Um, so yeah, let's start hoping some shirts. Hey guys, so it is voiceover me here, and I just wanted to show you guys here how I handle my three machines all at once. So here I'm starting with the multi-needle, which kind of once you do all the applique parts, does the rest on its own. So I always start with the multi-needle first, and then I work my way into the single needle machines. The two bins that I'm showing you guys here, I use for all of my machines. So my mom and I pre-cut them. I have the links below of the stabilizer that I use and also the bins that I use. My mom and I like to pre-cut them so that it's easy for us when we're doing the orders and when we're using all the machines and putting the stabilizer on the hoops, we like to have them pre-cut. Uh, here I'm picking out my fabric, so we also have pre-cut fabric with heat and bond already on them and we put the number behind for, since there's little, um, since the princesses are on there, we put the number behind so that we know which princesses fit what number. Uh, so we always have the heat and bond already on there, so when the order comes in, we can just slap it on the hoop, and that way the order gets out quicker. So as you can see, I already have my multi-needle going, and now I am prepping both of the single needle machines. And over here, I am using all three all at once. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, if you know the design, it's definitely something that you can do as long as you're familiar with the design and you're familiar with how fast the machine goes. I definitely don't recommend for you to do this if you're not very well versed in these machines. Um, so definitely make sure that you are comfortable with these machines before you think about doing something like this.
This is a good day, as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many, and the old ones gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin. are wondering what stabilizer I use. The stabilizer is actually cut away, but I use it as tear away. So a little thicker than tear, actual tear away stabilizer, but it's still thin enough to tear it. It's in the link in the description. Let's see what orders are up did a few test runs and it makes things so much easier. Have some cafecito for the soul. And it's already like 8 o'clock. Believe it or not, coffee doesn't really wake me up very much. This quilting ruler, I love it. It has like a little lip. So you just put it at the edge like this. And this fabric, because it's so slippery, this quilting ruler is perfect. And I got the biggest quilting ruler that I could find, which is four by 36 inches. on some aprons right now. I think I already told you guys that I'm having a brunch cake party with a bunch of my girlfriends and um, we got these like cute little aprons to wear. I'll show you. Wake, pretend to see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is
That's what she says when the episode ends. So I am about to just having her finish her milk so that um, I can put her to bed and then um, the paint party is tomorrow and I made um, the aprons that you guys saw and then I also made some scrunchies for all of the girls. My mom is in the office right now. Um, she's finishing them up. Um, yeah, we're gonna finish that. We did a bunch of orders today too. Um, I'm trying to think what else I need to do. Oh, I also ordered the packaging for all of the scrunchies because I printed some for like tomorrow, but like I don't like the way the printer prints it because it doesn't look good quality. So I ordered a bunch um, of little strips for the scrunchies. That should get here by next week, just in time for the website launch. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the little munchkin drinking her milk. Oh, want that there you go. Alright guys, so she's going to finish her milk and then I will um, bring you guys to the craft room once she's done. I can see it on the I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I made this little packaging. Um, that has the logo and the website and then care instructions and you fold it And in the back I put my favorite quote which is have courage and be kind handmade put a little needle decoration there um, I ordered some already that were professionally made that are being professionally made but um, you guys know I have a paint party tomorrow and I wanted the girls to have um, some scrunchies to take home. My mom is finishing up the other ones and so I'm going to go um, tagging these. The burning flames once more into the fray but I swear Just hold on to my 